To match my eyebrows with my wig, I widened at first with a waxy pencil because my brows are so dark. I brush it forward then go over it again with the pencil. With orange maroon face paints, I use an angled brush to color and shape my brows. To set it, I use orange eyeshadow and pat it on with my finger. Moving on to eyes, I apply eyeshadow primer. With the same orange, I use that as my base color and pat it on with a shadow brush. With a blending brush, I blur out the edges. Using green eyeshadow, I shade the outer corner of my eye then work my way into the crease. Orange and green for pumpkins. I'm going for a pumpkin witch look. Don't forget to blend the edges, you don't want any sharp lines. To thinly line my eyes, I'm using a black liquid liner. If I had to choose what makeup products I can't live without, it would be eyeliner. Now I line my bottom water and lash line with a black pencil to define my eyes and make them look bigger. For the wings, I go back to the liquid liner. I flick it upward and start making a diagonal line. I connect it to the line then even it out. After that, I curl my lashes. For bottom lashes, I cut them in half and glue them at the outer corner. I got these cute Halloween paper lashes from Daiso. I thought the stars and swirls were appropriate for this magical witch look. After letting it dry, I go over the glue with liquid liner to clean it up. Instead of using the lash curler for paper lashes, just push it up with your finger because they're very delicate. And don't forget to clean the glue at the bottom. To balance the colors out, I use a lash glue to stick a small pink star on my forehead. For freckles, I make dots with white face paint first using the end tip of a brush. I don't have paint that matches the pink and green perfectly, so that's why I'm doing this. I chose pink, green, and white because there are pom-poms on the small witch hat. Take your time and find the placement you like. It took me a while to figure out where I want them. I pat the green shadow on top, then the pink color. 
The freckle pattern is green, pink, then white. For lips, I'm using a matte black liquid lipstick and carefully outline the shape. It has a flat tip so I don't really use lip liner. I choose black for the lips because it contrasts with the bright orange wig very nicely. All the products used are listed in the description box with links. Have a happy and safe Halloween. And don't let anyone tell you that you're too old to go trick-or-treating.